Let's find out how to use Audacity as a voice recorder. And to assist me, I've got my beautiful assistant here, the Bayer Dynamic Fox. Take a look at it. It's a fantastic USB microphone that I highly recommend if you're working with USB microphones and you do not wish to uh, delve into the world of XLR connected analog microphones such as this one that I have sitting in front of me. Here is a USB cable that I'm going to use to connect it to my computer. Now this is USB-C to USB type A. I'm going to pop that there in front of me so it's ready to record and I'm just going to plug it into my computer now uh, just as you would. This is the easiest way to get started with voice recording. Okay now it's plugged into my computer I can go into audio setup recording device and there is the Fox, the Bayer Dynamic Fox. Okay so we're all good to go. I've selected it as my recording device. I can hit this record button this is Mike Russell recording on the Bayer Dynamic Fox, a really rather good USB microphone that I recommend if you're getting into recording with Audacity. Okay, fabulous stuff. Let's play it back. This is Mike Russell recording on the Bayer Dynamic Fox, a really rather good USB microphone that I recommend if you're getting into recording with Audacity. Okay, it works perfectly. So this is how you use Audacity as a voice recorder. You can even select this audio and do some effects on it. So let's go into effects, volume and compression. Let's go for normalize. That's always a good one. And we'll leave it as default. What it does is it makes the audio as loud as it can without going above minus one dB. Boom, see, it's a lot louder now, and we can hear that super clear. This is Mike Russell recording on the... the yeah, you can even hear the change in volume. Uh, next, I'm going to go into my effects, and I'm probably going to go into EQ and filters, and I'll look for the filter curve EQ. And what I'll do, I'll just flatten the EQ to start with. I will do a little bass roll-off, so I'm going to take away lots of the bass frequencies by eliminating those, turning those right down. And I might do a high-end boost up here to get some crispiness, uh, particularly around the 5 k mark let's make an extra boost around there somewhere around there and that should be a nice bit of eq let's apply it and we'll also go into effect and we'll go to volume and compression and we'll go for compressor and here i'm just going to add on a compressor with a threshold of around minus 18 we'll leave the noise floor as is the ratio will make three to one the attack time will make really short and we'll leave the release time as is. Click apply. And now we've got a nice, loud, punchy voiceover. This is Mike Russell recording on the Bayer Dynamic Fox, a really rather good USB microphone that I recommend if you're getting into recording with Audacity. So there you go. It's as simple and as easy as that. And then when I finish with the Fox, I can put the Fox to one side and I can go into the file menu. I can export the recording here and I can save it as an MP3 file, as a WAV file, as anything else that I choose. It's all here. It's all available. And if I have multiple recordings, if I have sound effects and music on other tracks, it'll combine it all together as one single file that I can distribute online. So I hope that helps you. Uh, if it helps you as much as it helps me to get my speaking correct then you should go and check my other videos on audacity i've got one on whether audacity can be used as a professional daw i don't know what do you think would you use audacity in a professional environment and how are you using it yourself let me know in the comments down below